Okay, so you want to put your crosshairs in for your scope. What I did was I took two pieces of wood and made a block. And I drilled a hole. And so you can see if I take half of it away, it only goes down a little bit. And you want that so that when you put your piece, when you put your cell in, it sticks up a little bit above where you're going to be working. Okay? So what we do is we take two pieces. We set them in a the little vise here. And make sure they open up a little bit. Set it in there so it sits down flat. And you want to try to square it up to the vise for now. It's just reference and, you know, it's how I, how I do it. So put your finger on it, hold it down in there flat, and just squeeze it until it's nice and snug. And what you do is take some blue painter's tape, and you're going to lay it all around this so it gives you a nice blue background. So when you're looking at your crosshairs, it, it shows up a little easier. And uh, move this along a little bit. I actually made a little flap already. So I'll set that right in there and put it down nice and flat. Now, um, what you want to do is you want to make sure it gets all the way around the insert, the cell itself. So we're going to put some more tape up here. Like so. And what we're going to do is take a little extra. And then we're pretty good. And we're going to take some small pieces to rip off, like this. And we're going to set them around the outside of the, of the vise here. And when we're doing our final setups on our crosshairs, these little pieces will come in real handy. Especially if you're working by yourself like I am. So, go on that side, put a couple more pieces. Just like that. And that's the basic setup in the vise with your cell. All ready to go. Now what we have here is a little unwaxed dental floss. I hope you can see that. Now, take tear off a good chunk of it. You're not going to use it all, but it makes it a little easier to to get a hold of and and to work with. So snap piece off here. Like that's plenty. And there's enough in this one piece to do a lot of repairs or a lot of new cells if you need. It. Okay. I'm going to turn the light on. It might get a little blurry, but that's just how it has to be. And um, I'm going to use a pair of magnifying lenses. They're a little dirty, but they work well. Uh, clean up. Now what you got to do is you got to separate these down to the last very final strand. And it's going to take, it could take a little while or it could peel right off but if you look at it and you look against the blue painter tape the white of the strand shows up a little easier and I use I use an exacto knife or this is a oops, almost dropped that this is a called a parrot knife from uh, flex cut carvers that I use for all my detail work on my rifles and I'm just kind of pulling the strands apart like this and you really want to and I know this is going to be really hard to see, but you, you want to get a strand out by itself, is what you're trying to do. So let's see if I can grab one strand here. Okay. One strand. Okay. There's one strand. See if I can get my big fingers on here. Alright, I got a little bit of the strand out right now, so I'm just going to keep working that out. And you see it's, it's cinching it up so you know you got it. Alright, I have a strand in my hand. I'm going to lay this off to the side. Alright. Now this one little strand is enough that when you lay it in here, and you put this, put the scope together, that actually shows up quite nice. And those pieces of blue painter's tape that I told you to lay off the side, what we're going to do is... I usually start with this. I'm going to start over here. Alright. I'm going to make it snug. And I'm going to watch where I'm going. And I can see the... I can see the strand across the blue painter's tape. So we know where... That I'm grabbing the right thing here. Alright. So what we do is just pull the strand. Make sure it's in the in the grooves that we've made and it's nice and flat in there 
we grab another piece of blue painter's tape and since we made it nice and long it's easier that you can actually drag off a little farther All right, and try to keep everything pretty much in line crossways it doesn't have to be perfect because it'll lay in the V in the bottom All right. we get it in there and we look and you can look through the shadows and actually see the line and I'm, I, if I was doing this without the camera I'd have it close so everything really showed up well but for this demonstration I'm keeping it kind of far away and really just using a judgment and what I do is I take some crazy glue just regular old Loctite or crazy glue or whatever and in the grooves I'll take and I'll put a nice little dab in there just like so it's not much you don't need much and I'll do the other same the other side alright now that I have those two little dabs in there take this piece of tape here what you want to do is you want to the lines in there straight but it's still a little flexible or whatever so what I'll do is I'll take a, a piece and I'll tear it and I'll move it up up towards the cell a little closer and I kind of flap it on and I'm watching the line I don't want to break it but I want to get it nice and tight so when it sets up that it's nice and flat in the bottom of the V Right, and you can see it's like raised on this side and a little bit on this side and it's actually you can just work on the blue painter tape a little bit and make it nice and tight all right you don't have to worry it's a pretty strong thread and you won't break it too easy but if you do you just pull it out and put another piece in once we get set like that all right we'll go back to the piece that we worked on here and we'll pull another thread out for the other side Making sure to grab one thread, and you can tell just by the way it's curled up oop, that you only have that you're working with one thread, and it, it's actually pulling out of the pile. That's nothing. Yep, broke that piece. Open up here. This is really, this is the pain part. This is just such a nightmare trying to grab one little strand there we go and so lay that back out of the way what you do is run your fingers over the strand a little bit that helps just smooth out the little twists and twists and little makes it lay flatter you slice it so and right, we'll grab another piece of that blue painters tape All right. And I'll start over here because I still have this in my fingers, I think. Oh, well, I'll see. Oh, there he is. Tricky little bugger. Alright, that's right there. Alright, I got it captured. Alright, we're good. Now, if you can't find it and it's driving your bag like this one is, take your knife and help help pick it up off the blue painter's tape. Like so. And we pull it across this way. And we lay the other piece of blue painter's tape across. Alright, now we take a look at it. And even though you have it snug and the one side starting to set up, if it grabs it, it'll pull it one way or the other. So you just want to kind of look at it and make sure it's not like it's not dragging it across or you know it looks like a they got a nice arc in there or something like that. You know you want it nice and straight and nice and square looking. Um, didn't have enough blue pinners tape here for some reason. So, okay, now we'll do the same thing. Take and put a nice little dab just like that. Now, don't worry if it runs off the side or anything like that. Once it dries, you can clean it up, it makes it fit nice. So, now since we have it there, by using your finger real lightly, just making sure it's laying in the center, we'll put some blue painter's tape again a little closer. 
Alright, and we'll do the same to the other side. Attach it on both sides. And just keep an eye on it. And, you know, really use your eyes. And like I said, you can, you can move this, move the line a little bit. Make sure it's down in the center, the grooves, and you've got it nice and tight. And there, you've made a set of crosshairs. Now just let it sit for a few hours, maybe over even overnight, until it sets up real good. Now what you do is you come back with your exacto knife and just trim the edges like this, and then you can take it out, clean up the sides, and you're all set. So, good luck. Like I said, take your time with it, and everything will work out good.